Welcome back everyone to Let's Play The Walking Dead. We've got a plan. Stay in your room. How long have you been there? We got a plan to go to Crawford. Is it going to be dangerous? Yes. Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Yes, it'll be dangerous. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Well, hopefully nobody else will. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. What? Huh? Say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? No. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? It's dangerous, but... Oh crap, I can't take her with me there, it's too dangerous. But maybe. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> that was probably a very stupid idea or choice, but... Too many times now I've left her behind and, you know, she's not gonna believe me anything I say anymore. A really stupid idea, actually. In retrospect now. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Uh, not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh, crap. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. The more the better. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Take it easy now. It seems so peaceful here at night, but... Hold up just a sec. <coughs> Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. Exactly. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. She is a real help. Oh. <laughs> it didn't look too happy. Yeah, it sounds... It looks so peaceful. But, you know, there's zombies around every corner. So we gotta be careful. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? All right. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Don't you dare wander off. All right, let's see. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. <laughs> Excellent observation, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Yes, of course. 
around they must be all asleep but there must be guards somewhere where is everybody there should be guards patrolling what are you disappointed it's just strange is all I think I see one over there by the door okay me and Kenny will sneak up try to take him out quiet the rest of you wait for our signal then follow us over everybody got it Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Uh, there he is. Uh, he doesn't look too healthy. What the fuck? Uh, that was certainly easier than killing a, you know, living human. Oh, what the hell? I think Crawford got overrun. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Great. This place is infested. Oh no. What, are they already Fuck. behind us? Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Scared her a little. What happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Shut up. No, this is good. He's right. We can take it all. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? For once, I agree. Shut up and let's do it. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Why is there an X here? That's not good. Another oh, there's zombies here. So they try to contain the situation, I guess. Just keep moving. Here. Is this it? Better be. We need supplies, we need food, we need fuel and batteries. Hopefully they have them. Looks okay. Everybody in. Besides, I mean, the boat is okay, but we'll need constant fuel and, uh, and food. And it's gonna be a problem. Huh. It's a classroom. Armory. Oh, great. Of course it's locked. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Well, all over the place. I guess we'll have to split up and do this. Here. Ah, a map of the school. Just give me a sec. A plan of the school. Sorry, I'm not commentating much, but I'm just thinking. Motor pool. Fuel? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. 
Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Okay. How do you know that? <laughs> Her Just face. Makes sense, doesn't it? I think she's hiding something. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll yep. go with you. Watch your back. With Clementine. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? That was a weird look on her face. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our <laughs> command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Is that a good idea? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not <laughs> leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think that's a good idea, Ben. Not before you know it. Ben has proven, you know, not to be reliable. In the past, so I don't know. Let's look at the school map again. Okay. So oh. according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. All right. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere. That would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Okay, that's good. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Well, that might be handy for uh, Clementine. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nope. All the history is now history. And it feels like a long time ago. What are those things? Spooky. Dolls. Creepy. Yeah, what the hell? Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Right. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once I'd like to do something useful, you know? I agree. That'd make a nice change. <laughs> That'd make a nice change of pace. <laughs> wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that... <laughs> I know no, that... Wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What? What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Well, fine, tell him, but after. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Yeah. And I know that was an asshole answer, you know, nice, nice change of pace for once, <laughs> but I couldn't help it, it's just so useless usually. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Oh, that was theirs. Okay, I didn't know they were doing that. Let's see, number of 
Inelig uh, ineligible citizens found. Oh, ineligible. Uh, oh. Initials of person conducting search. Days since outbreak. Number of walkers found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Okay. How can I... Uh, oh, there we go. Well... Okay, Clem. Yeah. Well, yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Well, I don't, but I understand. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. <laughs> and I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Alright. There's the globe. You gotta ask yourself if the infection... I wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Exactly. Is it everywhere? The infection? Just a bunch of paste. Well, let's see. What can we do here? Nothing else. There's a rug. Let's do that as well. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Oh yeah, we can do. Hopscotch! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so that's it here. We'll need to go and find that fuel and batteries, but we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.